Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking to you about the pancreas. So, let's start. The pancreas is an organ located in the upper abdomen and it's located up in front of the abdomen and behind the spine. It's about 20 centimeters long and its name is derived from a Greek root. So, pan means all and creus means flesh. So, it's like the flesh of everything. So even like people who discovered it all the way back in like first and second century, they could see that it was an important like biological component. Roles of the pancreas. So let's start to test you guys. What all, like roles of the pancreas do you know of? You can put your hands up. Maybe yeah. So it's to insulin. Yes, that's and true. Jones. Tanya. To make that one. Enzymes, this is the right person. What's your name? Brick Henry. Brick Sun. Brick Sun. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's like digestion. It's used in digestion to create like enzymes, proteases, lipases, amylase, and the hormone insulin. And when it doesn't do that, you get things like diabetes. So diabetes type one, type two, and that's a picture of a diabetic pancreas. So it looks quite shriveled, and when you compare it to, oh no, I changed the slide. Oh no, the thing, where's the slide? No, it's not coming back. Okay, let's just go back, let's go back, let's go back. I did have a picture of like a normal pancreas, and as you, oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, if you like, look at the difference between that one and that one, you can really see like what diabetes can do to your pancreas. So the two types of diabetes, you have type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is a genetic type of diabetes, so when you're, it's usually like diagnosed during childhood and it's when your body just can't produce insulin. So if your body can't produce insulin, you can't control your blood sugar levels, you need to take insulin or you're going to die. Um, these days you can get these treatments. So. It's called the glucose fast like monitoring system. And what happens is weekly you place a sensor, yeah, a patch in your arm, you might have seen it, and you can get apps on your phone that detect your like blood glucose levels, so that's quite good. Type 2 diabetes is not genetic, it's caused by lifestyle factors. So if you eat lots of foods that are high in like quick release carbohydrates, your, your sugar levels will spike quite rapidly. Um, it's usually developed in like older age and if you're of like an Asian ethnicity or descent, you're more like likely to get diabetes. Another thing that can contribute uh, contribute to you getting diabetes is having like visceral fat. So like I don't know if your dads have it, but my dad has like you know like a dad. <laughs> yeah, so that is actually like if you have like that kind of dad tummy, you can actually like you are at greater risk of getting diabetes, so my dad actually got diabetes in the end, so yeah. It can be treated with like metformin as like a drug release, like first stage treatment of type 2 diabetes usually consists of, right, you're, you go to your GP, they do a blood test, like they see in your blood test, you'll have a high indicator of HbA1c, which is like glucose attached to your red blood cells, so when you do end up starting to take medications or uh, like making changes to your lifestyle, you usually wait three months for your next blood test because the average lifespan of like a red blood cell is about 120 days. So if you did it any earlier, you still have old like blood cells, so it wouldn't be a good thing to test for that. Anyway, symptoms of diabetes. So polyuria is like when you like need to use the toilet frequently. You get thirsty a lot, unexpected weight loss, blood vision, teeth, numb and tingly limbs. And to test like the numb and tingly limbs, limbs, you can get a reflex hammer and they'll usually like give a tap to your knee or like foot. So they can check that. Um, well, you can also get like jaundice, which is like yellowing of the skin and sclera. So yeah. Pancreas transplant. So say if you do have type 1 diabetes, so your pancreas like couldn't secrete insulin at all ever since you were born, you can get a pancreas trans transplant. So they last about 5 to 10 years, but unfortunately there is still like about a one year waiting time. 
And you can get pancreas faster than that, but there are risks involved. Like, if you want a good fitting pancreas, like, you'll have to wait. So, yep. And there are always risks to taking, like, having transplants. Like, you need immunosuppressants, so you'll get sick quite easily. Um, yeah. And once you get the transplant, I'll carry on, I'll go into this, like, types of pancreatitis. And one of them is called acute pancreatitis. And that's actually, like, it can be a post effect of surgery, so your pancreas will get inflamed. Yeah. Another thing you can get is like closed leak system. So instead of the patch thing being on your arm, you'll get it on your stomach and it's like fitted with this little like glucose monitoring device. So that is your continuous glucose monitor and you have an algorithm which detects when your glucose levels drop or like spike. The thing, uh, the downside about this is you need to like log in what foods you're eating so it kind of knows if it's going to spike, if it's going to drop. But yeah, it's quite good and it helps people manage their blood sugars and it's actually now available on the NHS, so that's quite good. I think it's quite an improvement. This is like a synthetic pancreas. Quite a few institutions, like there are some in Michigan and in um, America, some in Europe, they've started making these artificial pancreases. Although they're not like fit for human transplant, people are using it to research drugs for like pancreatic cancers, so like treatment and like advances in there. So instead of using live like pancreases like from animals or like people, like I think someone raised it here last week by like the use of animals in like medica me medicine testing. So using like artificial and synthetic 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 pancreases like this like reduces the need to have to use living like organisms and things. So that's yeah. So pancreatitis, so itis is like, it means the inflammation. You can get so many like different types of itises. Um, you can get acute pancreatitis or chronic pancreatitis. So chronic is long term. It will like end up with a long term deterioration. It's not going to get better really. Um, you get weight loss, and it's like, yeah, jaundice, nausea, vomiting. Acute pancreatitis is short term. It's usually ends up getting treated, which is always good. Results can be maybe of surgery, as I mentioned before. You'll get tenderness, pain, a fever. There are many different causes of pancreatitis. Some of them can be caused by blockages to your biliary system. So as I said earlier, your pancreas secretes digestive enzymes. And those will like go through your like tube that secretes enzymes. And like if that's blocked, it can be blocked by things like gallstones, hypercalcemia, which is formations of like when calcium builds up in deposits, it will form stones and that can cause blockages. Or hypertriglyceridemia, which is like when fat will build up in it. And the enzymes and like digestive juices, they won't be able to pass. So because of this, this can cause your pancreas to get inflamed, so pancreatitis. Um, ethanol is alcohol, so alcohol will directly damage your pancreas, which, yeah, lots of things alcohol causes. I'm going to ask you guys, what other things do you think like alcohol does to your body, just in general, a general question? Yes, yeah, so, yeah, brain damage. Yep. Brain damage. Brain damage. There's so many negatives to like alcohol, so that's just one of them. Scorpion stings. Scorpion stings aren't like an everyday occurrence, but like when you do get it, it can break down a peptide inside of your body, which breaks down like amino acids needed to make um, vesicles. So if you can't produce vesicles, like there are lots of things that would happen. How are you going to transport the enzymes? How are you going to transport substances in your body? So. When that happens, your pancreas can end up getting inflamed because there's nothing to transport these enzymes and things, and they'll start digesting your own body. So, another thing is idiopathic cases. Idiopathic cases are cases where the no cause of pancreatitis is just completely unknown. So, yeah, I'm going to speak about an idiopathic case next.
So this happened um, during my work experience. So I worked, did work experience in a GP practice, and when I was there, I met this guy. His name is Jason, but it's okay for me to say that. And I met him, and I was meant to give him some repeat medications. I couldn't do it because it wasn't like ready to be issued, but he was like, I need it, I need it. He was quite adamant, but he was friendly. And I spoke to the GP, and while that was happening, he showed me the reason. He lifted up his like shirt, and inside, like, not inside, but like, down the middle of his stomach, there was like a big incision. It's like huge. And like, it's a scar that's completely healed, but it's still quite thick. So it was, that means like quite a deep, like original wound. So he told me what happened was one day, he's working, it's a regular, usual day. And one day at work in the hospital, he collapses. He just like passes out and he's out. Any guesses like how long he passed out for? Like, he was unconscious. He ended up unconscious for seven whole months. So, what? Yeah, seven months. That's what he told me. And he said, on the hospital. Yeah, on the hospital. He seven was months in the hospital. hospital. He is like. Wait, so no one like picked him up and. No, 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 no. He was unconscious. He went unconscious for seven months. He literally says like he lost seven months of his whole life. So. That's how he describes it. He didn't know what happened to him, nothing. Like He was unconscious and it was due to pancreatitis and it was an idiopathic case. He had no symptoms, no signs, nothing. Just passed out pancreatitis. So that was the cause of that. And ever since then, it left him with like lots of resultant issues. Like He has to take lots of medications for his like gastric problems, like blood pressure, things as such. So he's doing okay now, but there's a huge incision on his stomach and he like told me when he woke up, he did he walked to like the mirror, he was walking there, just to the bathroom on his own. He looked at himself in the mirror and he said he screamed at himself because he's like a relatively like average sized guy. He's not like over the way, underweight. But he walked into the mirror, he sees himself. He said he looked like bones, like he looked like he fully woke up and he just did not recognise himself. He was like, Who is this man in the mirror? And it was himself. It wasn't us seeing him rushing in and stuff, and it was a complete shock to him. So, pancreatitis is very serious, guys. <laughs> <laughs> if you're unconscious in any situation, okay, it's a shock. So, yeah, a lot better now, but there's always like post like effects and things like that. Yeah, so that's kind of the reason I even like did the presentation. I was like, whoa, that's like kind of thing. inspired, inspired, yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's. That's it for my presentation, guys. <laughs> Any questions? Do you have a question? Um, do you think like stem cell therapy, like using stem cells made from like embryos or from like you know adult stem cells, can help like regenerate pancreas cells and then people who have diabetes? Would, like not need a transplant or is that like something that's like really far-fetched and no i think like the use of stem cells it's like it's really good the thing is with stem cells when you like use them they can't be always like specified and like once you transplant it back into the body will your body just reject it like over time your body changes so i think it's obviously like there are so many new stem cell researches like with so many different organs and like definitely it's a good possibility to the future I was going to ask how old Jason was. How oh, old Jason? Yeah. He's in his early 30s. Like, yeah, not too old. He's not like, no, he's not old at all. Not like unfair or like, it was like a completely unknown cause. Yeah. How does what? Oh, so basically like jaundice is like yellow in the skin or like Sarah, right? So. It usually happens when like you get high levels of a substance called very 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 rubin. Yeah, that. So once you get higher levels of that, that's what usually causes it. And I think that's usually caused by like problems with your biliary like system, your enzymes and things like that. Do so you learn about that in your diet? Thanks, Babisha. Bye.